Okay, welcome back. So today we're going to be taking our goal holder and making it a part of the game manager so that it no longer controls deciding whether or not the game was won. The game manager does. So let's uh, get started with that. Hey there, welcome back. So let's start today by taking a look at the goal holder, exactly what it does, and how we're going to move that from where it is into the game manager so that the goal holder does nothing more than just hold the goals. So let's start by taking a look at the script for that. Now inside the goal holder script we have create goals, check goals, check for game win, goals met which is a boolean value and then the signals that are going to and from it. Now if we go back to our game manager script I'm going to move a lot of this information just directly to the game manager so going to I'm just going to grab uh, the create goals, the check goals, check game win and goals met. I'm going to grab those four functions here and I'm not going to cut them, I'm just going to copy them. And I'm going to go back to the game manager and I'm going to separate the game manager signals from everything else. Game manager signals and I'll paste that stuff right here. Now we're going to get some stuff that's going to turn out to be... Okay, so... Current level, I call just level, so I need to change that. Okay, wow, I was expecting more stuff to be... to be not good. Alright, so now, first of all, we're gonna, if I just hit play, this is gonna break right away. Uh, I wanna go to my game manager, and I wanna make sure that I'm making the goal holder a child of that. Okay, cool. So our game manager is gonna hold the move timer and the goal holder for now. Now inside the goal holder here, uh, actually, let's make a reference to that goal holder in the game manager script so that we can do stuff with it or check its child count. So in here, I've got a game manager. I'm going to make an onReady variable for goals. So I'm going to call this goals stuff. And then we'll do onReady var goal holder equals goal holder. And then when we're creating the goals, we're gonna do goal holder dot child count. And then we're gonna say the current goal is get child i goal holder dot get child i. And then we're going to emit a signal to create a goal, which means that we need to have that as a signal. So signal create goal. Now I'm going to need to connect this from here to the top UI. Current dot max needed goal texture goal string. Check goals. Check game win. Goals met. So if goals met, this should be goal holder dot get child and goal holder dot get child count. All right. Emit signal game one, so we need to have a game one signal. All right, and let's see. So we're creating our goals, checking our goals. This needs to be goal holder dot get child count, and this should be goal holder dot get child i. Okay. And then check for game win. Okay. All right. So still not going to work if we hit play, but we're we're getting closer here. So I'm going to go out of distraction free mode here. Actually, before I do that, let me just discuss what I just did to make sure everybody's on the same page. So I took the functions create and check goals, and then check game win and goals met from the goal holder. 
I can actually delete these now. Um, doo -doo -doo. I don't want to delete the signals just yet because I want to make sure that I know what they are. Uh, and then I took these two signals. I can just get rid of the ready function too. This isn't going to have a script attached to it when we're done. Uh, okay, so on grid check goal. So the grid is telling this to check the goal. So we need to make sure that instead of communicating with the goal holder, the grid is communicating with the game manager to check the goal. And the ice holder break ice, we need to make sure that we're setting that to the game manager as well. And top UI notify of level, we're going to change that entirely. Let's get rid of the current level here too because this is going to hold the current level, so we won't even need that signal at all anymore. But I'm leaving these two here to remind me, even though this has an error and that's going to bug me. Um, ice holder break ice and grid check goals. And this doesn't need to know the current level. All right, cool. So let's have those signals go instead of to the goal holder, to the game manager. So the first one was the grid check goal. Oh, did I already connect that to the game manager? Oh, because it's game manager goal holder. I see. I'm going to disconnect that. And I'm going to reconnect it directly to the game manager. And then in here, what was I doing? Yep, just check goals, goal type. So goal type. And then check goals, goal type. All right, so there's that signal. So I can get rid of that one. And the ice holder, and this would be the same if you remade these signals for uh, the lock and the concrete and the slime to have that be part of your goal. So I'm gonna reconnect the break ice to the goal holder, or not the goal holder, the game manager. And then this one just did goal type as the argument and then check goals goal type goal type all right cool let's save that go back to the goal holder you can just get rid of that and then also just detach the script and delete it so goal holder <coughs> To go over to the script and clear that out and I can just yeah this isn't sending any signals why does it still think it's sending signals it must think it's receiving signals or maybe I just haven't saved it yet and let's close that script okay so now let's try this out I'm pretty sure this isn't gonna work but let's try. Okay, cool. We didn't get the goal made. Uh, this needs a texture. I just have it set to like this random goal just to make sure that I can play the level. So, oh, because I didn't connect the check or create goal signal to the top UI. So top UI needs to know to create the goal in big in this so we can check it out all right so on goal holder create goal you can get rid of this function because we're not using the goal holder anymore on game manager oops, I didn't need to delete that let's grab this make goal stuff actually I'm just gonna grab all of this and I'm gonna paste it here there we go so game manager create goal, new max, new texture, new value. Make goal, new max, new texture, new value. And we'll get rid of the goal holder version of that. Um, let's see, the grid also shouldn't be goal container get child count. That is weird that I did that that way. OK, I'll be back for you. Um, so. Let me save, let's hit play, and let's see if it at least makes the goal. Nope. Oh, because I didn't call 
game manager, I didn't call that in ready. So in game manager and ready. As part of setup, I'm going to create the goals. Alright, let's try it now. Okay, cool. So Oh, okay. So this is an order of operations problem. So the game manager's ready function gets called before anything else's ready function does because it's the highest up here. I can easily fix this just by moving the game manager to the end uh, so that the game manager is registering last. And it actually shouldn't change anything. Um, and then all the on readies should be set. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so this is an order of operations problem. Since the game manager is called, uh, the game manager ready is called before the camera 2D or the canvas layer or anything else. So it calls these ready functions in order from top to bottom. So this onready variable with goal container wasn't set yet. So I'm just going to do a really quick check to see if goal container. Let's just do if not goal container. That's easier. Then goal container is equal to dollar sign. Which one is it? Which one is the goal container? It's HBox container, HBox container. There we go. All right, let's try that now. Okay, same thing with this texture because that's an onready variable. So I'm going to say if not this texture, this texture is equal to HBox container slash texture rect and then I think I need to do the same thing for the goal label yep might as well do it up here if not goal label goal label is equal to dollar sign v box container slash label all right, let's try that. Cool. OK. Um, now, I want to make sure, let's actually go back there. I want to make sure that it's decreasing when I delete stuff, or increasing, rather. So 3 out of 50, 10 out of 50, that's good. 13. Cool. Now, the check game win is something that we need to do. So when we do, do on grid check goal, it checks goals and then it checks to see if the game is won. And if the game is won, then it emits the signal game one. And it should emit that signal to do do do. Okay, so it emits that signal to the game win screen. So instead of connecting that signal to, I'm just going to reconnect it to the game win screen to tell it to come on in. And then I'll just grab all of this and paste it here. And then I can get rid of the goal holder game win. Okay, so let's try this. Let's go to our game manager here. Let's go to our goal holder. Let's go to our goal. And let's make this six. And we might as well actually give it a texture too. So that we can see it. Pieces. Blue piece. Alright. Let's save all of our scenes. And let's try this out. Alright, so it needs six blues. Do 
Do, do. I'm gonna fast forward this. Cool. This is still counting down in the background. We're going to fix that right now. So in the game manager script, we're already having that timer go down. So do do do. Move timer timeout. If not, is moves. We're gonna have a quick little variable here to decide whether or not the game was won. So I'm gonna do bar game one is false. And then when we said game win to be true. If goals met, game one equals true. And then in our timer timeout, if not is moves and not game one. So let's try that again now. Alright, so timer's timing down. Might have to fast forward here really fast. Okay, you can see that the timer stopped, but it's still all settling. We're going to address that soon. The state manager is currently in the grid, and that's not where it should be. The state manager should be in the game manager. So when we move the state manager out of the grid, we'll be able to make it so that this uwin panel doesn't actually come in until everything is settled. So, all right, cool. Uh, there we go. Now, the next thing that we're going to do, like I said, is we're going to move the state manager from the grid over. And then I think we have a few more things we need to clean up as far as this general refactor goes. Once that's cleaned up, we can start adding some new fancy things. Um, making sure that the high score displays on that game win screen. We're going to be adding a actual level select screen, like a panel that slides in and tells you what your high score was on each level before you go to them. We'll add a scrolling background on the game start screen, and then we'll also add ads. So, uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, feel free to give it a like. It tells YouTube that you want to see more content like this. Uh, otherwise, you can follow me on Twitter, find out when I post new videos, join my Discord. Tons of really cool people there who have been very helpful, even though I've been absent lately. Um, really, really, really cool people there. Um, you can follow me on Patreon. As little as a dollar a month helps, but it's by no means necessary. Whatever amount you would not miss at all if it fell out of your pocket is the amount that you should contribute. And if that amount is zero, that's fine. Otherwise, I hope everybody has themselves a wonderful day.